Hello soulmates, welcome back to another interesting episode. My name is Ajalan, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new to my channel, you're welcome. Consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so that you always get to know anytime I post videos. So for my returning subscribers, thank you so much for the love and support. I really appreciate you all. So today, I'm going to show us how to make an off-the-shoulder flower girl dress. So if you're interested, let's get started. Alright, here you can see I have two beautiful colors with me. This is my purple and this is my yellow color. I'll be combining these two to make this beautiful dress. And I'm going to use the pattern that I drafted from my last uh, video that I just uploaded, the off-the-shoulder pattern. I'll be using that to show you how you can actually sew an off-the-shoulder dress with sleeve together. And I'll be adding a ruffle also on the um, neckline, that is the over-the-shoulder part i'll be adding a ruffle to it and of course you will need your matching satin and your matching cutting lining as well for this i'll not be using any hard knit all right so i'm going to go straight um by taking my pattern this is the pattern here although this is for a two year old the last one that i used for my previous video that one that one was for uh, i think 12 years old but this is for a two year old so i'll be using this to illustrate now this is my pattern the first thing i'm going to do is to add my strap so i'll be adding a strap to this because this is for a little kid and i want it to sit very tight on the shoulder so i'll add a little strap to it so what i'm going to do is to come over this is the shoulder slope okay but if you maybe you didn't uh, watch the last video that i posted make sure to watch it so, you, so that you can understand how i got to this point all right so make sure to watch the video that is on how to draft the different ways to draft and off the shoulder bodies pattern i'm going to drop the link also in the description box so you can check that out so that you easily understand what i am trying to do here so like i was saying i'll come over to this shoulder um, line you can see and then connect it from this point you know for these two years i use a neck width of two inches so i'll just bring it down here and then connect it off now this this one here if you want to use this method that is to say you want your strap to sit very close to the neckline if you don't want it very close to the neckline you can just um, say start from half an inch from your neckline and then maybe decide how many inch you want the strap to be if it is one or three uh, 0 0.75 or even half depending on how tiny you want the strap to be okay so this is the half inch and this is one okay now you can see that if i decide to use this uh, part now it's going to be touching on this uh, arm hole which i don't want that is why i am using this one that is by marking following what i use as the neck width you just bring it down to this uh, off the shoulder line okay from there mark your one inch okay but this this can be more if you're making it for a for an older kid can be one and one and half all right so i'm using one inch because this is for a little girl okay so now this is my strap i'll come over to the back and repeat the same thing okay so this is the two inches i'll just connect it straight then mark the one inch that I want to use, okay. But when I'll be cutting on my fabric, I'll make sure to add my um, sewing allowance, right? And I'll also maintain this loop because I want the strap to sit tight on the shoulder. So I'll maintain this loop. You can see that I'm not marking it straight to meet up the um, this shoulder line. I am following the slope. That way, it will sit very okay on the shoulder. So I'll just go ahead now and cut out the pattern so we can start sewing.
all right here you can see i have everything cut out this is the lining as you can see and this is the main bodies now you can see that i have um, some layers of nets already I'm, i have four layers of nets okay before the satin okay so if you're a returning subscriber you should know this by now that you need to add extra layers of your net so that your satin will not be visible but if you want your satin to be visible there's no need of adding any nets at all all right so the, the next thing i'm going to do is to join this part together this is the front okay so i'll just place it making sure that the front is facing each other and then i'm going to join it on this end using half inch all right when i was cutting this i did not include any sewing allowance on this part because it's already included in the pattern so for this end there's no need of adding any um, sewing allowance but just add on this other side alone okay so i'll just join this together and i'll repeat the same on the lining so after doing that now i'll quickly explain the main purpose of today's tutorial how you go about doing that although i'll also show you that when i'm sewing it in so this is the neckline and i want to create some ruffles on this neckline so i'll just use this to illustrate this is what i want to achieve okay so i'm going to um gather or i'm going to join like eight layers of this net together and then i'm going to place it this way as you can see this is what i'm trying to create i'm going to place it and then continue like that okay now you can see that if you add more layers to your net this is going to stand out well so i'll explain better as we continue so I'll just go ahead like i said i want it this way okay that's each fold i want it to be five inches for each of these fold so because i want to join the two colors to make this part to be more beautiful so i'll, I'll cut out a lot of five inches five inches for this yellow five inches for the purple after which i will now join all together before folding it in on this part i'll also show you how to do that uh, when i'm ready to sew so right now i'll go ahead like i just said and cut out five inches and each of your five inches should be eight layers of this by five inches so you can work with your own measurement this is for a three year old so i'll go ahead and cut as many five inches as i can and i want the height of this to be two inches okay now since i want it to be two inches i'll go ahead and cut out the height will now be four because we're going to sew and close it okay like for example this is what i'm holding now if i fold it you see it is one all right since i want mine to be two inches i'll cut out four so that by the time we fold i'll also have it as two inches all right so i'm going to cut out um four inches by five inches the width will be five inches the height is going to be four inches so we'll just cut many that i'll be using to uh, decorate or make this part to be more beautiful all right here you can see i have them already cut out like i said each of these should be eight pieces or not um, less than six pieces of this so that by the time you finish folding it will stand very well instead of it to be falling so what i'm going to do next is to join all of them together if you don't want to combine like this you can just use one color and um, work on this part so this is it i'll take the yellow and join i am joining the part that i say that is the height that i say should be four inches and then i'll take another one this is how i'm going to keep on joining all until i finish so after joining all this way remember i said you join this way first then we'll now fold all together this other way and then join it on this end and then turn it inside out okay so that's what i'm going to do i just said uh, i just decided to explain it a bit so that as you're seeing it on the sewing machine you understand what i am doing so I'll just quickly do all that you can see i'm just trying to arrange it well okay so this is the look that i want this upper side to have so i'm going to take us to the sewing machine now and show you how to and show you how to finish off this side
after sewing it this is what i have as you can see after joining it together i just place it on fold and then sew it straight you know same way you sew when you want to make a belt so now i am going to turn it inside out so for this design there's so many ways of making this design there's the uh, freehand method there's the one that you can just um place it on the shoulder when the dress is on a mannequin so there are so many ways of doing this but i prefer using this method you know kids play a lot so with this method no matter how they play it will not pull off so i'll just turn it inside out like i just said and then give it a good press before placing it on the shoulder now this is how i join the body part you can see i just join it there and i repeated the same on my lining so this is the strap i just use this simple trimming just to give it a beautiful look right so i'll just go ahead now and place it on where the strap supposed to be remember to notch that point when you when you draft just notch the point so that you, you will not forget where you want to place the strap so i'll just place it there now as you can see and i'll stitch it there okay so i'm going to stitch it here and this is the back this is the point where it should be at the back i also notch that then after stitching it here i'll also move it to that back side you can see just move it to that back side and also stitch it. So after doing that, I'll now place my um, lining over it like this, making sure that the front is facing each other and then stitch it all the way around to the other end of the shoulder. After stitching it now, I will now attach this before closing the ample parts, okay? We need to put, place this before we now close off the bodies so let me just quickly um, join the strap and then close it like I just explained so we can finish. Right, this is where we are so far as you can see after stitching this on the neckline this is what i have 
so at this point i'll use my trimming to close up the thread okay i don't want the stitching line to be visible so you can use your trimming or your beads to close it up nicely and here i need to add some of these to complete it so that it will go round to the back side like i said earlier there are so many ways of making this you can use the free hand you can use even as little as three uh, um, pieces like i use eight remember you can use three depending on how uh, the more the volume that you want the dress to have so you can just decide on doing that but if you follow this method um, it will last and the baby will not easily uh, destroy the dress so for the zipper side this is how you place it you can see you need to uh, uh, lay it flat like this okay so that by the time you place your zipper and stitch you also have your lining separate to cover off the zipper this way you have a very neat um, inseam finishing all right so you can see i've already added the skirt parts to this dress this is one of the things that we did in our cupcake dress class so if you want to know how to go about making this you can join that class so you can see or learn how to make different kinds of a cupcake dress so i'll go ahead and finish up by adding this complete it and then add my zipper and close up the dress then i'll show you the final look